Hey guys and welcome to vlogmas day 10 it is currently after midnight so like i've been working all day but i still have a ton of energy so i am going to be working on my digital bullet journal layouts tonight so i'm going to screen record what i'm doing so i can show you guys and then while i'm doing it i'm probably also going to like have a christmas movie on in the background um and just like yeah enjoy enjoy the nice evening i have my christmas tree is on all my lights are on so it's just such a vibe in here so yeah i'm super excited so for this first layout, what I wanted to do is create a calendar along the top portion of the page and then have some boxes along the bottom that you could customize to suit whatever you need it to plan for. So I also wanted the boxes for the month to be separate. Like I didn't want it to be one solid thing. So basically there is a box for each day of the month, uh, an individual box. And my hope is that this will allow you to add a little bit of decoration and make it look a little bit different from like a typical calendar layout. And then to make this easy for myself, since I'm just sketching at this phase, I just created one line of the boxes and then I copied and pasted that line five times. And then for the boxes on the bottom of the page, I basically just had to space out how many dots between I needed. And again, because I'm sketching, I wanted to make this quick and easy for myself. I just copied and pasted the lines as I drew them just to make it faster. And here is what the layout looks like now that it's all done. For this next layout, I wanted to get away from using a traditional calendar and instead have the days of the month listed down the side. I love this style layout because I feel like it gives you a lot of room to write things down, brainstorm, plan, that kind of thing. There is a small calendar included. I just put it above this block where I have the different days of the month. And then there are also three boxes going down the side. Again, you can customize these to use them however you want. This is also just a rough sketch layout. So like I'm not making it too perfect or anything. The one thing I was doing was making sure my spacing was good. And so to do that, I always just like count my dots out and then I'll use a pencil to mark off the different spacing I need. Sometimes I'll even put it on a different layer and then I'll just draw on top of it and delete that spacing layer when I'm done. This just really helps me to make sure that I'm getting everything correct and that everything is spaced properly.
For the final layout that I sketched tonight, what I wanted to do was create the same list of days where you can write beside instead of a traditional calendar layout, but I wanted to have three columns so you could break it up into different categories. So for example, you could have one category for personal, for work, things for your kids. Um, you could use this in many, many different ways. You could even break it up into like morning, afternoon, night if you're somebody who has different things going on at different times of the day. So that's what I decided to do with this particular layout. And then there is also a calendar block at the top which you can totally customize to suit whatever you need and then there's just extra space you can use this to doodle to decorate or you can add in more boxes to plan anything else you need to plan for the month For this final bit of doodling that I was doing, I was actually testing out a different like sketch style. So I'm trying to decide for the bullet journal, like how I'm actually going to draw things in. Am I going to do solid thick lines? Am I going to do more of this like stitch effect? So what I was doing here was practicing with a calendar just to see what I think of it. So I also did a different style calendar where um, there's boxes where you can write in the days of the month. And overall, I'm actually super happy with how this looked in the end. I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback on this on whether you like this style or if you'd prefer solid lines. I can definitely do both as well but I really kind of want to go for like a cute stationary feel for this bullet journal and I really kind of like the style if I'm being honest. All right, so that is it for today's vlog. I really hope you enjoy getting the behind the scenes and like getting a look at what the different layouts are gonna look like and how it's all going to start looking. There's gonna be a lot more of this type of content in the coming days, a lot on like how I'm gonna be setting goals with my iPad and how to build a vision board and all those kinds of things. So I'm really excited to share more. If you want to learn how to digitally plan next year and how to transfer your bullet journal to the iPad, be sure to hit the subscribe button to be notified anytime I upload a new video. I am participating in Vlogmas. There's a new video every single day. And then I'm also going to have tons of awesome content coming in the new year on how to achieve your goals and do everything you want with your iPad. Um, and if you like the video, be sure to hit like as well. It helps support my channel and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.